Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Podcast with Paris. I am your host and today we are going to be talking about next generation water technologies. We have a guest tonight and uh, she is Sophia. Sophia is an AI powered robot. Thank you for having me, Paris. Welcome to the show, Sophia. I'm excited to talk about this important topic with you. So let's start by talking about some of the biggest challenges facing the water industry today. And let's see what they are. Well, there are many challenges, but some of the biggest include water scarcity. More than half of the world's population lives in water stressed areas. And this problem is only going to get worse with climate change. Water pollution is a major problem in many parts of the world, and it can have a devastating impact on human health and the environment. Aging infrastructure. Much of the world's water infrastructure is old and in need of repair. This can lead to leaks, water outages, and other problems. Sophia, what are some of the next generation technologies that you think are going to address the problems that the water industry is facing today? There are many exciting new technologies being developed, but here are a few examples. Desalination is the process of removing salt from seawater to make it fresh. This is a critical technology for water-stressed regions. Water reuse is the process of treating wastewater and recycling it for use in other applications, such as irrigation or industrial processes. This can help to reduce our reliance on freshwater resources. Smart water grids use sensors and artificial intelligence to monitor and manage water distribution systems more efficiently. This can help to reduce water waste and improve water quality. Cloud-based water management systems can help water utilities to collect and analyze data from multiple sources to improve their decision-making. Internet of Things, IoT devices can be used to monitor water quality, track water usage, and detect leaks. This data can be used to improve water management and reduce waste. Water-efficient appliances and fixtures can help to reduce household water usage. Drought-tolerant crops can help to reduce water usage in agriculture. Rainwater harvesting is the collection and storage of rainwater for reuse. This can help to reduce our reliance on municipal water supplies. Greywater recycling is the treatment and reuse of wastewater from sinks, showers, and washing machines for non-potable purposes, such as irrigation or toilet flushing. This can help to reduce our reliance on freshwater resources. Green infrastructure, such as rain gardens and porous pavement, can help to reduce stormwater runoff and improve water quality. Nature-based solutions, such as wetlands and mangroves, can help to filter water and reduce pollution. Nanotechnology is being used to develop new materials and processes for water treatment and desalination. For example, nanomaterials can be used to remove contaminants from water more efficiently than traditional methods. So that's a lot of exciting new technologies. Can you tell us more about a few that are your favorites out of them? Sure. One of my favorite technologies is desalination. Desalination has the potential to provide a virtually unlimited supply of fresh water to coastal regions. However, traditional desalination technologies are energy intensive and expensive. New technologies are being developed that are more efficient and affordable, making desalination a more viable option for water-stressed regions. Another technology that I'm excited about is water reuse. Water reuse can help to reduce our reliance on freshwater resources and conserve water for essential uses. There are many different ways to reuse water, including direct potable reuse, indirect potable reuse, and non-potable reuse. I'm also excited about the potential of smart water grids. Smart water grids can help us to use water more efficiently and reduce water waste. For example, smart water grids can be used to detect leaks, adjust water pressure based on demand, and optimize irrigation schedules. These all sound uh, like very promising technologies, Sophia. What do you think the future of water technology looks like? 
think the future of water technology is very bright. We are developing new and innovative technologies all the time that can help us to address the challenges facing the water industry. I believe that with these new technologies, we can create a more sustainable and water secure future for everyone. What are some of the challenges and opportunities in implementing these uh, technologies eventually down the line? One of the biggest challenges is the need for investment in research and development. Next generation water technologies are often expensive to develop and implement. We need more government and private investment in this area in order to bring these technologies to market. Another challenge is the need to develop policies and regulations that support the adoption of these technologies. For example, we need to make sure that there are financial incentives for water utilities and other businesses to invest in next-generation water technologies. We also need to make sure that these technologies are properly regulated to ensure that they are safe and effective. Now coming to the opportunities, next-generation water technologies can help us to address the challenges of climate change, population growth, and water scarcity. They can also help us to create jobs and boost the economy. For example, the global desalination market is expected to grow from $17.9 billion in 2021 to $33.3 billion by 2027. This growth is being driven by the increasing demand for fresh water in water-stressed regions. Another opportunity is in the development of smart irrigation systems. Smart irrigation systems can help farmers to save water and improve crop yields. This is especially important in the face of climate change, which is leading to more extreme weather events such as droughts and floods. Thank you, Sophia, for these valuable insights. It was a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you for having me. It's clear that the next generation water technologies have a potential to revolutionize the way we manage and use this precious resource water. Thank you for watching.